zoax.net. Lesson 1. A Simple Program For this lesson, you will need a browser and a text editor installed. If you are on a Windows machine, you will have Internet Explorer already installed. You can use Internet Explorer or whatever browser is available. As far as a text editor, you can use Notepad, which is also available on all Windows machines. I will use Notepad for this lesson, but there are many other options. To begin, open up your text editor. I will demonstrate with Notepad. If you are on a Windows machine with Windows 7 or earlier, left-click the Start button, next left-click All Programs in the Start menu, then left-click the Accessories folder, and finally left-click Notepad to start it. If you are on Windows 8, move your cursor to the upper right-hand corner, and then left-click the Search icon in the slide-out menu. On the search page, find Notepad under Accessories and left-click it to begin. Once Notepad is open, you should see a blank window like this one. Left-click it and enter this code into it. Do not worry about what this code means. It is just boilerplate HTML that we will use to call our JavaScript programs. You can copy the code from our lesson page or download the complete project from the link next to our video if you prefer. When you have this HTML code entered, save the file as lesson1.html in the folder where you want to put your code. To do this, left-click File in the menu bar and left-click Save As in the sub-menu. Then you should see this dialog box. Navigate to the folder where you want to save the file. Then left-click the text box next to File Name and enter lesson1.html. Finally, left-click the Save button to save the text file. The important part of this HTML file is the name lesson1.js inside the double quote marks. This is the file name of the JavaScript program that we will write. In future lessons, we will use this HTML file and change only this file name for the JavaScript file that we call. Since we have already saved this HTML file, we want to close it and open a new file by left-clicking File in the menu bar and New in the sub-menu. This closes the old file and opens a blank window again. Next, left-click the window, copy this single line of code into it, and save the file as Lesson1.js. To do that, left-click File in the menu bar and left-click Save As in the sub-menu. This brings up the Save As dialog again. The dialog should be open to the folder where you saved the HTML file. Left-click the text box next to file name and enter lesson1.js. Finally, left-click the Save button to save the text file. This is the entire JavaScript program. It prints the message inside the double quotes, God is Love, which comes from a Bible verse and is also the title of one of Pope Benedict XVI's books, in case you are wondering. Now navigate to the folder where you saved the files and you should see them listed like this. To run your JavaScript program, double-click the file lesson1.html and you should see the message God is Love in the browser pane like this. Note that when you double-click the HTML file, it gets opened with your default browser. It, in turn, calls the JavaScript file and runs the code. All of this is done through the browser, which interprets the HTML and JavaScript code. 